you know, all these are great questions. Um, but, you know, just uh, as a consumer, I'm going to flip through these comics, which I bought at a convention. I think I got these for a buck a piece. Um, and, uh, you know, I noticed that they have Vampirella, Jennifer Blood, who I don't know too much about. But, of course, Vampirella is the world famous uh, Warren comics, uh, Warren publishing character that everybody seems to have a take on. Um, so let's jump in. Um, here we have uh, written by Nancy Collins, so it's female written, uh, illustrated by Dave Acosta, a name I haven't uh, been familiar with, but we'll be checking him out. And uh, the, the color by Valentina Pinto and lettered by Erica Schultz. Very interesting that you have a lot of uh, female workers here in the biz, letterers and colorers, edited by Hannah Elder, cover art by Billy Tan, and uh, cover colors by Vin Vinicius Andrade. Um, so here we're getting it, uh, you know, this, this is apparently some kind of vampire tale where we have uh, some, some like blood sucking here going on. Looks like they're blood sucking some zombies. Um, I don't know if this is if this is like really grabbing my uh, again. I have to like try to get rid of this glare. I don't know if this is really grabbing me, um, but it sounds like they are like trying to dig into the story. I'm sure they left off on number one. Um, here we see a double page spread that were uh, you know on the famous Hollywood sign. How often do we see that? This is subtitled "Undead in L.A." Um, so I'm just going to assume like there's a very interesting story going on here. Uh, if you read all of the word balloons, um, you know, this there's kind of like a dark tone to all these comics and, um, you know, panel by panel breakdown, but nothing really jumping out here. Like you're not seeing any big splashes or you're not seeing, um, you know, too many like uh, reverse angles or, you know, this, this angle is a little bit of a down angle. Um, so this is kind of just, um, I would say, like, maybe a little bit pedestrian storytelling. You know, I'm hoping here that we're going to get into, like, some real, like, vampire stuff and some action. Here we see Vampirella is gliding into a cemetery. Uh, and she's digging into, like, a mausoleum. Got these Day of the Dead guys. They look like uh, gangsters or something. They're blowing people's heads away. Um so I'm not really getting a sense here of the characters here. She goes into this hall of mirrors and she looks into a mirror and she's seeing red Sonia of all people. So she's not billed here on the cover, but um, again, these uh, swords of sorrow comics, I think they're trying to weave a lot of different um, female characters in um, here. I see this big forearm guy. This reminds me of John Carter of Mars and Deja Thoris. So, uh, you know, maybe she's going in through this mystical chamber here, going back through time. She wakes up and says it was just a nightmare. Um, you know, this might just be like some thin plot uh, fig leaf to try to get us into all these characters that are in different times and different worlds. Um, but, yeah, this look, definitely looks like L.A. <laughs> here. I got to give him that. Um, this is the Jennifer Blood character. Do you know anything about Jennifer Blood? Zero. Right. Well, I'm just going to take a wild guess and say that she is a vampire hunter. <laughs> That'd be a good guess. Um, oh. So she comes in here. So here's our first splash page, right? She comes in here and this guy is, uh, is uh, garroted. He's, his neck is uh, bleeding out. And he's got all these drugs and things on the table. Um, she's she's back out here, and I, these look like these might have been the, the guys that did it. I'm going to say that some of these pages are a little sparse to me. You know, I uh, complain a lot about wasted space, you know, and it isn't just that they don't have backgrounds. It's like, you know, maybe they could have, you know, made things bigger, use some different angles. I don't know. Just like to me, as an art teacher, I'm just, I, I would advise a student, like, you do something here, put some clouds in, or, you know, or, um, you know, so maybe, maybe you, you could have a little more uh, dialogue. Here's a double sound effect. 
right sound effects or something maybe maybe make these panels bigger right maybe like balance things out um here's a here's an interesting double page splash ad for red sonia and conan who uh 